All right. What a beautiful day, a beautiful time, and it's a good season. We're right out here in Adelaide and in Australia. Though today we to join a kangaroo for a long time, so I just can't go Australia. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I remember the days when we used to meet our people, and they're like, when I come from Africa, they ask you this question: uh, "You guys live with monkeys and gorillas, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I don't know. Did you experience such a thing?" Yeah, uh, like, like they, they, they think you're coming from a kind of a. A forest or something like that, <laughs> so where you, your neighbors and everyone is a, yeah. it's an animal. It's an animal out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, that's the first impression. <laughs> yeah, so I yeah, was always like, if when I could jump out here, yeah, I was like, I have never seen a kangaroo. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, welcome tonight. This is our Casa Weekly Show. And today I'm privileged to have Chris on board and we're kind of... Um, uh, in Casa, Casa is a great place for you to join if you're coming from Kenya and you want a community whereby you can come and grow together with people. You know, no man is an island, you can never stand alone, you know. And it's a place where you can know yourself, come up on a normal, on a taboo, your problems sometimes, once in a while. It's a good place for you to grow and know yourself after you get there. So Google up Casa in all our social medias and you'll find Casa uh, Adelaide. And if you do a text there, uta, uta, uta patikana, yani people will know who you are and where you are. So, welcome tonight, and tonight I'm hosting up Chris, I'm Jim, um, very new in Adelaide, almost like eight months, a jack of all trades, I don't know, <laughs> start introducing. <laughs> 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 eight, eight months and they say you are new. Me know the kid in the mm. new, I'm the new kid in the block. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I can't get new I love photography, videography, anything to do with sound. So I'm always behind there. And today, I'm here to Yeah, the, 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 the engine of the production. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and today I have a Guiji who has been here for a uh, long time. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> the Guiji. No, no, I'm not a Guiji. I'm not a Guiji. Um, my name is Chris. Yeah, man. Chris Finn. Midamba. Yeah. yeah, I'm from Kenya. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, that is, that's, you, you didn't tell me to, to introduce, but I'm, anyway, have I jacked that No part? problem, no problem. Keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. Yeah, my name is Chris Midamba. Mm-hmm. Um, should I say former journalist and something uh-huh. like that, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but what it, are you doing back at home, like? Yeah, um, in Kenya, that yeah. is. Yeah, because also right now, Australia is almost where yeah. we are. <laughs> 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 you, know, you know one thing, Jimmy, before I, go to, I get to that, um, yeah. Uh, when I was coming to Australia, uh-huh. uh, you know, when the families come together and like now they're kind of sending you off. And, yeah. You know, one thing I keep on saying and I keep on repeating is that uh, they told me yeah. when you get to Australia, yeah. Australia si kama Nairobi, ya Timesha, will be tough and you bokinya yourself back home. Ugenya, ugenya. Ugenya, Mira Express and back home. You know, uh-huh. it's not like that. It's, it's a... Uh, you you will only need a thousand shillings or something like that. Yeah. Kenya shillings, that is. Yes. But Australia will need hundreds of thousands <laughs> for you to come back. So they told me when you get to Australia, Chris, one thing, please try to find a community. Oh. A community. And uh, uh, those are the the nearest people. Mm-hmm. Create, a, create a family, in other words. Create a community of family. Mm-hmm. Be close to people. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, you go, when, you, when you go there, try to be, in, in, like, be involved. Yeah. In the community things, be involved, be close to people because those are the people. Yeah, really, that matters ah, at that moment. If anything, yeah. for example, happens, God yeah. forbid, yeah. we back at home, yeah. we, we 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 will be like, God help us. We'll be like, we are we are the masses of God. Yeah, and friends. Yeah. Uh, supposedly, if you're, you cre- created one yeah. <laughs> in Australia, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to support you, uh, yeah. because even if it's sending money from Kenya to Australia, sometimes you look at it and the conversion and everything is. It, it, like you wonder why this person sending you this thing. Yeah. You look at it; it's a chip. So that really uh, has formed a bigger part of my life here in Australia. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, when you were starting, you mentioned about Casa, yeah. the Kenya Kenya Association yeah. of South Australia. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it is a, a community that I, was, I can always encourage everyone. Yeah. They come from Kenya. Don't try to seclude yourself. Don't try to be on your own island. You're trying to do things yeah. uh, on your own. You yeah. need people. That's you right. need friends. You need yeah. family. Yeah. And these are the new family that you have here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you have to be 
In a family. In a family. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you ended up joining Casa. And, and that's how I ended up joining Casa. Because you remembered, Maze, you yeah. don't have the cut to go back home. <laughs> yeah, because there are so many things, especially when you actually you join an organization, yeah, you get to learn a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are so many things that people do. There are so many things, for example, in terms of work, in terms of network and everything. Yeah. Yeah. You get to... You've been here eight months, and yeah. you're, you're, you're here. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and just to tell the viewers that Mr. President is on the back seat. Yes, the... <laughs> today. Yeah, I'm actually in his seat <laughs> for today. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, and, and why we're doing this weekly thing is because we need to get people on board to come and get to understand who, uh, like who they are. Like, yeah. you know, it just doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, you can be in Australia. Maybe you've begun up your business. Mm. You can be in Australia. And sometimes you're just maybe busy in disability until your talent that you had back at home, it disappeared. But mm. And you could be also in Australia. You get so busy until you forget other things. But here in Casa, we want now to come back and remind you of the first love that you had in life, the yeah. things that used to keep you going, you know? Mm-hmm. Like President Alisema used to be a manager. He was used to be like Karen and a, and a yeah. Dropiwa. Huku maze Buddha. Yes, gee. Hapa Buddha ba na kusuti. China thamos imeko hapo. Pale kando. But the only guy I've seen who is from Kenya and still wearing a suit is Chris. Kasa hamu Chris ni mjaka Buddha. It, it, it is. It is good. You know, it is good to look presentable. Actually, I, I think I am. I can say it's more of my profession when I used to be back uh, in Kenya. Yeah. I used to be a manager as well. So, ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I used to be a manager of oh, two radio stations. Actually, oh, which I used to. Which one? I used to work in um, a Christian radio station, a Christian mm-hmm. industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is. Um, uh, the one I, I know you know it, Biblio Sema oh. and Truth FM, they're oh. all under one oh. roof. So you're in Nairobi? Yeah, I used, I used to be in Nairobi. Let me make let me tell you, uh-huh. I worked in Biblio Sema and Dorot. Uh, ah, <laughs> ah, you see, so <laughs> I know I didn't know that. We are knowing this right here. <laughs> I, used yeah. have a, I used to have a program called The Youth Drive. Oh, really? Yes, Biblio Sema TV or no radio, I radio. Radio. TV. Yeah, that's oh, how b- before I thought, the radio yeah. was brought to Nairobi. Yes, Something now like because you were actually, I would say this, uh, mm-hmm. when I began, it's, like. It's getting <laughs> yeah, when I began up with radio, uh-huh. uh, Bibilio Sema used to be one of those stations. Zilikuwa, it used only to play choirs. Choirs. Nothing else. Zilizopendwa. Yes, choir mm. like the Tanzania. Only mm. that. Mm-hmm. So me, I come here, I'm this dot com guy, and mm. come with my playlist. I have hip hop, I have gospel raga, I have reggae. Mm. And they was just look at me and they're like, what are you coming to do with all these songs? And I told them, you know, uh, Everybody, music, like there's different genres of music. Absolutely. And when, yeah, when yeah. we began on the show, mm-hmm. things changed because mm-hmm. they were just used to like choir songs. And that's how we changed the airwaves. Mm-hmm. And things went out nicely because there are so many gospel songs yeah. that people just stick on one end. Yeah, and even yeah, up to yeah. today, many people don't know about them. Yeah, yeah. But we used uh, Biblio Sema as a good place. So it's, it's good that I, need, I didn't know you in Biblio Sema, <laughs> BHV. Yeah, I used yeah. to be in Biblio Sema. <laughs> uh, I, I went there as a. A news presenter, ah, great. English news presenter, mm-hmm. Truth FM. Yeah. I did that. I think I joined Biblio Sema 2018, mm-hmm. around May 2018, mm-hmm. and did. Uh, my journalism there as well, ah. uh, everything there. Like yep. I started from news presenting, yep. and then at one time I was moved to a, to run a program. Yep. I did some few, not many, yep. morning programs, ah. and then I was taken to the evening programs. Yep. I think they wanted me to put people to sleep. Now you know he talks slowly and. Just come everyone to sleep. Ah, Buddha, na ibe si ako. Wato liko na la la kweli ibe ibe Buddha. Yeah, this is your boy Chris. Yeah, you, know? yeah, you are tuned into truth. Oh, yeah. I used to say things like that. And, um, wow. and then at one at some point, I used to do also Swahili news ah, at Biblio Sema Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah one yeah. two times, and I did several. I did quite several yeah. because they used to think, ah, Ujama na troka uko, you know. Homer Bay. Yeah. Uh, these people, do they, it, it, it is a known thing that uh, we from the lakeside, we really don't know Swahili. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. But no, no, we, we know Swahili yeah. on, on the paper, but yeah. not spoken. Not spoken. <laughs> <laughs> you, we, we accept, trust, we accept. Mm-hmm. Mosha, we accept that you guys are good at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I did uh, some Swahili news. Yeah. And then uh, I used to have a program called, uh, I used to do a program, The, the True Armour on Truth FM, ah. around 7 p.m. to mm. 
10 p.m. Yep. every day from Monday to Friday. Yep. And then I used to have one program. I used to call it uh, Kipindi Awaze, uh -huh. the country music, uh -huh. every Sunday yep. around from 4 to 7, yep. 4, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Yep. So country music. And you know country music, now yeah. the gospel country music, the likes of uh, Kenny Rogers, you yes. know, the likes of... Uh, Travis, the likes of the the gamers, you yeah, know, those yeah, things. even no, our those own things. Ruben Kigami, yeah, even our own Ruben Kigami. So yeah, it's with yeah, those country yeah, music, yeah. yeah, as well. And now in that process, I was, uh, by God's grace, I was promoted. Oh. There was a vacancy in the mm -hmm. office of the head of radio. Oh, okay. In that uh, at that time, yep. And then and then uh, that's that was a. Uh, it, during the COVID nineteen, and then I think uh, during the COVID nineteen, yeah, and then uh. Yes, the Kapoor show your manager, Bonnie. Oh, wow. Well, so I used to juggle between the two radio stations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, una, una rotate, it, yeah. Yeah, someone comes to your office in you know, North and like, mm, I come in, come. Yeah, you know, wow. there's that kind of, some kind of entitlement in a way. Yeah. You, you feel proud. Yep. Uh, uh, the, 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 like you look at it in life, you see you're doing well, you're trying, yes, yes. not really doing well, but you're trying to be there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, just from nowhere, you're you're the you're the manager. Like you're reporting wow. now to the CEO. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're, you're the radio manager. Wow. To the general manager yeah. who reports to the you know the bishops. The, the bishops. Yeah, and all that, yeah. And that yeah. was good. So that's how you began your journey. In yeah, that's how I began my journey. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, background professionally, I'm a trained TV programs producer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, Mimi, that's your... Mimi Nilo Jamawa TV. Ah! <laughs> but see TV, Mbele Camera. Yes. Leo Nimeo Kwa Mbele Camera, but yeah. TV behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where the hard work is, basically. Yeah, that's where the hard work is. Kwa ndawa tunapika chakula na kupika, huku huku tuni mchuzi. Yeah. The guys just consume. Oh, so that's good. So after that, when you left that, how did you end up coming to Australia? Ah, the, very good question. <laughs> uh, I know my wife is watching this. Now, um... We did our wedding. Yeah. My wife was already here yeah. by then. Yeah. She came back to Kenya. We did our wedding. A yeah. lot of stories yeah. skipped. Yeah. We did our wedding and yeah. then we started the journey of coming to Australia. Oh, I mean, you uh, have a story just like uh, mine. <laughs> 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 yep. No, at, at one time, you know, you, you look at your life in Kenya, you think yeah. you're doing well. And yeah. that was me. I was like, I'm a radio manager. I'm doing well. Like, yeah. And I'm really moving very fast. I want to go to the TV to do now to go back to the TV yeah. uh, for a long time I was told I have a good voice I have a good voice but I didn't really like what's that what's mm. that and that's why really I landed up I, I, I got a job in the radio instead uh -huh. of getting to going to the TV uh -huh. yeah so I went to the radio that's how I got a job in the radio so how I came to Australia is that uh, yeah we, we did a, we a wedding with our, my wife yeah and then it's sort of the process of coming here. Yeah. And uh, I came here 2022. I'm two years old right ah. now here. <laughs> 2022, around fair March. Yep. March, actually March. Uh -huh. After the COVID-19 and the lockdowns were lifted. And then now we, we managed to find time, yep. find a way rather, yep. to come to this country. Yep. And uh, yeah, yeah you, you, know, you know, one experience that I've never really... Uh, forgotten yeah. like, uh, when when i came when mm -hmm. i came at the time you know and this really an advice really encouraging to the, anyone watching and this probably here yeah uh, maybe you came in and you have never been like gone back to your profession i came in here and i was like now where do i start from and then my accent you know the african kenyan accent yeah. is not the oh my ooh, get what i'm saying those yeah. twang things <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and i looked at it i was like if I try to apply a job, a radio, a job in a radio industry here, yeah. will I really get it? Yeah. So I really had a lot of doubts as well, mm -hmm. so, and I I didn't go on with it. But I tried video editing and other things that yeah. I was able to do. Yeah. Uh, on that on other platforms, but yeah. I really was not. I was a bit scared. Yeah. A bit, you know. You 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 have come a new environment. Yes, yes, yes. yes, uh, yes. There for the first time, you still yeah. need some few days. Yeah. For yeah. months, some yeah. people take years to settle down. Actually, definitely. And uh, I remember the only thing I, I, I people we come here, and just, most people end up in the support, or rather, care industry. Yeah. Uh, and that's where I was headed to actually, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't have the certificate thing. Yep. So, so uh, the only opportunity that came up was the the, the casual jobs, the manual jobs, yeah. and, and at what time an opening came up. Yeah. I was to go to the farm 
Oh wow. Shamba nani? Nataka <laughs> <laughs> kukuwa manager. <laughs> Shamba nani? Na bado nilikuwa na suits. <laughs> Buda mm. eh ujaka. Ah, <laughs> ujaka. It's, it's, it's a professionalism na need <laughs> kwa shamba. Professionalism. And, uh, so <laughs> nini kata actually for some few days I'm like ah I reflected back and I'm like hey yani ni kuje ni ndio shamba. Sasa unafanya je ulikuwa unafika kwa shamba na siku una change suit ama what happened? Ah siku enda kwa sababu for some few days actually. Oh. And then now we probably can know the day to go. My wife had experience that uh-huh. then I think when when she came as a student she, those are the things they did. Yeah, so yeah. ali nipeleka tukafanya some shopping kidogo za kununua some nguo za shamba because nguo zangu zilikuwa tu white shirt yes <laughs> uh, no official official the yellow suits and um, yeah. so hey ungeenda shambani na suit but uh, you know kaji tari sana uh, yeah, tari sana yeah. and I eventually ended up in the farm ah I did for some I think few few few, few a month Yep. And then at that time I started doing other certificate other courses. Stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. And then now we are here. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Now, now like what I'm getting is everybody has a story. Yeah. And that's the goodness of coming to Casa. You mm. know, in Casa you'll get people who have real stories. These are mm. not just made up stories, you know. And these are things these are people who have passed through life as they came in. And even me when I dropped here in Australia, it is it was one of my hardest thing. My wife was here mm. and when I came I landed here I'm like now looking I'm from home mm-hmm. I'm like I've I've just like I've never been like doing whatever I'm doing today mm-hmm. like getting into a factory mm-hmm. I factory you know we only see Oh ile factory na kwangu. Yeah, huko oh, mbali unajua tu. Eh, like una mwa zina kwanga za either the factory ama the hizo zingine. Yeah, yeah, uh, unajua. Coffee or something. Like yeah, but definitely that's the first place you begin work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. over here because you don't have papers and all that. And that's why you need a community. When yeah. you get here, you need people who can help and guide you mm-hmm. to know what you're doing. Because mm-hmm. sometimes people get to start to do things which are not good. Mm-hmm. at the beginning yeah. and they cost them in front there because yeah. now you see if you have people who can guide you and tell you hey this is how you get cpr this is how you get white card this is how you get all this this is where you can stay mm-hmm. and that's why we have a community called casa casa yeah uh, so sadly people come and try to find shortcuts and try to follow shortcuts there you know the fishy mm-hmm. ways mm-hmm. and i think that has landed many people into problems into the streets, as well. man Uh, huge problems yeah. which, especially if you're in a very far country like this and yeah. you find yourself in problems yeah. and then you're just not even more than a year old here yeah. you, you find it very hard yeah. very rough yeah. very yeah. very yeah. rough yeah it's true and i'm thinking like um the best thing ever that we as a people can do at this time is support each other absolutely yeah and i like the way you said like from a manager in the farm <laughs> and now you're here um, but you're going to manage your picture kidogo what was the first thing when i saw you i told you what <laughs> <laughs> i just knew it and that's why i'm saying like having tonight is just this weekly time the weekly program for casa and we are getting to know chris better tonight mm-hmm. as um, he's one of a key guy cuz our one of the greater things and greater visions for casa is to begin a local radio and a tv yeah what do you think about that can that uh, work it, 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 it's a good very very good idea uh, to having such a, a, even like this like a local you mentioned local tv or local radio yeah. it's a good thing one thing why it's very good according to me is uh, uh, you will have a detailed and targeted information mm-hmm. to a particular a community that probably might really not be you know uh really involved in many things especially yeah. in this country yeah. like we'll be having our own kind of news our own kind of information that we need to share with them mm-hmm. our own kinds of development and everything that they really need mm-hmm. oh, probably some of them will be development from back home you know yeah. some people they are here and they never follow news they, they don't know anything they don't know anything, they don't know anything. <laughs> they're just there like <laughs> you ask them something like oh ile fanyika lile then <laughs> they really don't know anything True that. So, such 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 opening such yeah. um uh if uh, a radio industry or a, especially local ones you know it it's a targeted it targets the people they really they those ones who are really not uh they are not uh, you know wale watu wa wale wa tafuta it's kubwa kubwa like and mostly we come here because we find ourselves most of us come and 
we are in classes after class work work home class and yes, we really rarely, rarely find time even to yeah to catch up with friends yeah, to catch yeah. up with families and those families that we have created yeah. our life is uh, rotates just work school yeah. class work school class but such yeah. opportunity i will it's, it's a good platform yeah. that also will uh, help other people even upcoming artists as well upcoming those people who have talents to showcase uh, sure, the yeah. business people wants to advertise and talk about their things yeah it's, it's a good environment that yeah. is really 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 go a long way yep. to promote the community as well yep, yeah yeah yep. true that so mm-hmm. it's a uh, it's something that will be workable for us very very workable yeah. very very workable absolutely yeah. workable that's well, really why well, the world well, is well, well, what what do you need to to do that uh, if you're given a if you're given the challenge mm-hmm. what do you need to do that you know uh passion number one mm-hmm. and you just need to go for it mm-hmm. yeah i i know many people like me we came from kenya and then we have been here and then for one way one th- because of one thing or another we have really held back to our passion and focused on other things uh but if we can awaken our passion uh volunteering and you know just doing something related related to whatever you really are passionate about i, th- I think that's really will go a long way to really help us mm-hmm. help many people as well mm-hmm. to reach you know for example i know many people don't even know me for example yep. that they are, they are seeing me they were like eh you you jamaa na mwananga tu kumbwa juu liko manager kumbwa juu eh kumbwa jamaa eh you know and it, yeah. it's 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 also it helps in publicity as well that's right yeah 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 I, and i'm seeing it like also you know even if we're in australia mm-hmm. we can also teach the people of australia our own culture yeah we can they can tune in and learn how things are M- back yeah <laughs> you know yeah yeah and when when we have such and into the where, where we're going today mm. like the world today mm. uh internet is everything and yeah, right absolutely. now that's where you find everything you know mm-hmm. and we need to be digitalized in uh, in all our angles mm-hmm. and um we are hoping and praying and saying like let it kick start mm-hmm. so, you know no 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 was it you call after some two months what is it you kiswahili kiswahili nani na ndio na ski accent yako And, ah. and some of them try to try I'm like oh 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 like I, just accept yourself I'm and not, be yourself. I'm not saying it like being biased <laughs> but me ni mluya mm. but I can imagine me myself with ule mtu ametoka kule nyumbani na chuko mimi naitwaamo I'm a luya yeah it is true that those who have been here for some time yeah. and have really uh, not say uh, like Kiswahili is a bit a, cha- bit a, uh, a challenge, a challenge to yeah, them. Yeah, But yeah, those yeah. also have come here for two months. Even like, one month is not yet over. I'm yeah. saying like you're talking to them and they're like, "Oh my goodness, no, I don't. I, what, what, what are you saying? Yeah, what did you, you say? Know, yeah, what are these? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tonight we're just uh, having fun, and this is what is all about. Or about our weekly show mm-hmm. is just to get and, to and know. it is getting hot here. I tell you. <laughs> I know yeah, it's, it's getting hot yeah the scene is it, getting hot and hot it, it reminds me of a, a famous journalist in Kenya like yeah mm. Oh, where the jeep was? Oh, the four regions. I tell you, it's hot here. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a bit hot here. I, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, we did some. Cool. But Nashanga we sweat. More than me than sweat. Ah, well, it's being healthy. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, it's this is not being healthy because at least um, it shows that um, yeah. my system is working. Really, no, I, I love that when you drive a Mercedes. I don't know me. I walk. You never know I go by bus. You know Jack, you never know. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, so that's happiness in Kasa mm-hmm. and and as we get to uh almost winding up our evening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh you've talked about how you came here, you've talked about your experiences and also you've talked about um about uh, you being a manager but ukakuzeuka ukasahau that is it possible for mm-hmm. a young person or a person who is living in australia mm-hmm. to keep and start back where mm-hmm. he left his dream can they can they just not depend on where they're getting money today but can they go back to that first love like for example get the mm-hmm. money but begin something like you can get the money build up your own studio get the money you know is it possible if maybe you're a saloonist get the money from disability but start up a, a saloon mm-hmm. you know maybe you're a tailor get the money from disability buy up your machine to start up something in your house mm-hmm. yeah is it possible yeah 
It is very possible, Jimmy. Uh, you are a testament to uh, to that. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're not seeing. I'm seeing. I'm not seeing everything here. And, and, and when I came in, I was like, wow. Uh, wow. You know, that wow three times. And I was like, oof. Yeah. Uh, this guy's doing well. Yeah. Uh, because coming in, seeing number of the, the kind of gadgets you have. Yeah. I won't mention them by the name, but anyway, but the kind of gadgets you have in yes. the system. Yeah, it is very, very possible. One thing is that, you know, once you're passionate about something, yep. uh, you'll always really pursue until you achieve it. Yeah. Uh, it, it you might take a break from it, mm-hmm. probably several years or one year or one month or whatever days you might, yeah. but that does not mean you allow it to die inside your heart. Ah, uh, you know? great. Uh, just always, you know, not, for example, myself, yeah. yes, I was a manager, but able to pay a manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's just a radio journalist. Yeah. Uh, and you to prepare a mm-hmm. video editor. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, as much as just life is very expensive, yes. and you need sometimes you need to find ways of surviving. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. at that time probably you'll be forced to put aside your uh, talented profession and find something that can work out. Yes. But that does not mean you rule out everything. Yes. As you continue and uh, in that process of uh, raising something for your survival. Mm-hmm. And in the process, you can also continue harnessing ways or trying to improve really your, your talent. Because, yeah. b- by the way, we are living in a very fast-paced world. Mm-hmm. If you step back a little bit, for example, I video edit. Yeah. But I tell you, if I come back to video editing right now, I might not really do it well, mm-hmm. best like those who are really have been to it. Yeah. So the, uh, you have to find ways of continually doing things, even uh-huh. if it's just in terms of volunteering. Yes, yes, you yes, know, yes, yes. Volunteering, just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doing it uh, just for some few days, you, yeah. you need to be yeah. updated yeah. to remain practicing. Practicing, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. how you know it is how not as how people. It's true. Uh, there's something that they normally say: out mm. of picture, out of something, out of picture, out of uh, sight, uh, out of sight, out, 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 of, sight, out of, of mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, once you're out, for example, yeah. When I, when I was a journalist, a radio journalist, I used to have my own fans. Uh, like those people just tune in because Chris is on yeah, radio. Yeah, 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 definitely. And once Chris is out of radio, they'll, they'll, not, they'll yeah. go to other radio stations or yeah, something like that. Yeah. But you know, uh, staying away from them, yeah. then they'll always find them. another alternative. Yeah, you yeah, lose yeah. them. And yeah. by the time, you, if you start again in trying to build it, it's it will take time. Yeah. It will take yeah. true time. That, true that, it will really take time. Yeah. So, Actually, that has really what has been a really, what has really affected me. Like, yeah, I'm like, so where do I start from? Yeah. Where do I start from? And <laughs> I know you keep on saying, where do I start from? And the days keep on going. Yeah, keep on keep going. On going. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. But, but thanks to Mr. President. Yes. Uh, Mr. President has given some gigs. And that's why that's also the reason why it's very good to be in a community. Yeah. Mr. President giving some gigs. Yeah, about it and do, do voiceovers for the casa, yeah, you know, yeah, video editing, yeah, you know, such things, yeah. And and it's a good friend, yeah. You need such kind of friends That's as true. well, especially I, in the casa. You need such kind of people, yeah, yeah. And everyone like 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 the way you said, like this thing that is, is inside you today. Mm. You may think it's gone, but it's there. Like it's there's there. a mark in it, yeah. It's there. And what the only thing you need to get to do is get up wake up yeah because today if you get back to kenya today mm. taking care of what you're taking of the people we are doing here today the jobs you're doing here today in australia mm. we mean not get them at home actually well, you, how you know, will you, you know, begin you know if you go back to kenya for example if i go back yes, to kenya at begin? this moment uh, you, know, you know, sometimes we think, oh, we are just going to pick up from where we left. Uh, it is very hard. How will you begin? It's very hard to pick up from where you left. The people who move on, life is moving on, and things. you love to start from somewhere. Yeah. Uh, a scratch. Uh, from yeah. somewhere totally different. Yeah. And for you to get back to where you are, it's a, it's a, it's a mountain. Yeah. So uh, my advice would be mm-hmm. try to do... Keep up doing Keep up you... doing, even if it's just a, a, a small even step. Even volunteering. Even yeah, if even it's, volunteering. Yeah, yeah keep yeah. doing it. But you, you know you, you can't volunteer every day, but yeah. at least try. Yeah. To, because you're trying to improve on your skills on as your well. Skills, yeah. To, yeah. yeah. And through volunteering, probably you'll, you'll be able to meet many people. That's right. That's right. You'll meet I, many people. You'll be able to, who will be able to see whatever you're what able you're to doing. do. What you're doing. And right. yeah. probably be able to promote you in a yeah. way. Yeah. And it's true the way you're saying, because I remember um, how I came up to meet everyone. I have mm. my friend, actually, we were working together with him in this project. He's mm. called John Kiyama. Mm. And when he came, he found me in church and we met in church. Mm. 
and I was volunteering in church to mm. do videography in Futures Church. Mm. I always do the camera there. So he meets me and he says, hey, James, can we be like, we exchange numbers, nini, nini, nini. Mm. Yeah, and that's how we kept up knowing. And then he said, ah, oh, this this Kipindi that is there, mm -hmm. we are doing, come over. So I told him, yeah, I'll come and help with the camera mm. that afternoon. And that's how I ended up meeting the president. Mm. And that's how you get up building and getting to know people who are in your field. And the president tells us, oh, you know what? I used to do these things. And I'm telling you, okay, now it's no problem. Now mm. let's keep up doing where we can begin. Yeah. And now I'm just happy about how uh, someone like you can come and say today you can start again mm. you can pick up again mm. you know yeah and begin again yeah absolutely yeah and if you're out there and you're that kind of one person you've sat there today you're watching us and you've sat you're like thinking how can i begin again mm. what i used to do the passion i used to have mm. approach us yeah yeah come to casa you know, talk about it. Actually, you're, you're answering somebody's question here. Brian Osugo says, what platform are in place that CASA has put in place to help someone chasing his dream here in Australia? 28 is not lost. What system can you advise? And you're already talking about it. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Brian, I'm just thinking, I don't have every answer, but when you come on board, yeah. come on board, visit, uh, call the number, text us, and from today, we want to take it like very 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 like it's an important thing mm -hmm. it's not that we just leave it there and as we begin from where we are where you know you can begin again don't sit with that talent that god gave to you because yeah. i'm so sure it's god who gave us all these talents absolutely you know it, it doesn't mm -hmm. begin anywhere else yeah. and I'm, I'm just looking at it and i'm just thinking i remember when we were back at home we were so like we didn't even have the money that we have here today yeah that we get you get I, I think you get what i'm saying yeah but what you get today if you plan yourself well you can begin what you used to do even if it's mm. in a small scale yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. even if it's like you sat there uh let's say chris alikwa he does a lot of new stuff he could keep up start up his channel yep. you mm. know yeah. get an iphone start up his channel mm. hey and then cause and i share a link that's what we need to do is support his link yeah. get him pushed up people can see his little thing like even in TikTok mm. and someone can say I want that guy to come and do something and that's how people yeah. get connections and that's, yeah, that's how, how people... you create the links yeah. and they get the connection yeah so mm. there is still hope yep. and Absolutely. there is something good for you out there settled yeah so I think Chris mm. to my bigger story <laughs> 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 I don't we need a commercial break, and a commercial break is, I don't know if you're an artist too, Koinje, to get what to me be artist that pig one song. I don't know who, you know, we need to add these people in our sets and all that. If you're doing music, I don't know if there's anyone you need to read any comments on online uh, or anything. Not really. Uh, I see Steve of Pisa saying, what a great show, Imam Idamba says, fake it till you make it. And uh, uh, then another one here, he says, wonderful show, yep. There's some of the the few that uh, that's coming in right now. All right, mm. thank you so much, guys, for keeping up. And one and, of the big and things, and of course, I think the probably the other platforms that they're sending messages as well. Yep. Yeah, but uh, yeah. we we'll see them. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And <laughs> events that are coming up, I think we are, the gala is coming up, Chris. Yeah, the gala you, is coming you've up. You've ever been in a gala? Yeah, I've been. In a gala. How was it? Uh, the the one for twenty when last year, I think so. Mm -hmm. Ah, you, you know, you know, I was still living in Australia. I went there and I was like, wow, you know, meeting new people, meeting new friends. And then at, yeah. some, at some point you, you become patriotic, uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. you know, become patriotic because, you know, it's something that is, a, I think that was a, is it Jamori something? I can't remember. Uh -huh. But anyway, when people come together, probably they will, some the, the, the national anthem from Kenya, ah. uh, some of the songs you, mm -hmm. you get to know, and mm -hmm. people talk beautiful things, development wise, and yep. you get to catch up with people as well. Yeah. I hope I hope kuna ugali ban na morsik. Kuna iso kuna iso traditional foods as well. Ah, kuna hey, tell them, tell them about it. Kuna traditional foods, kuna morsik. Yeah, iso iso. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm tired of eating the things I ate here, so I'm just thinking if I get my people around mm -hmm. and we have some good chapatis, mm -hmm. all that, you know. Ile unakula kwa ribo, si ukumalizi. 
<laughs> Jenga mwili haribu jina. <laughs> yeah, so the gala is coming up. You guys can uh, get on board and book up your tickets mm-hmm. and, and 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 be part of it. Uh, the charges are there. Uh, venue iko hapo. Everything will be, will be thrown up ukiingia kwa social media pages and maybe you're new and uh, don't get lost by yourself. Step out. Mm. That's one thing we'll tell you. Mm. Don't get lost by yourself. Absolutely. Don't struggle alone, you know. Don't you're get not to an that island. Verge. You're not an island. Yeah. yeah. And don't get to that verge that you're almost giving up. Mm-hmm. So, Chris, what mm-hmm. will you end up by telling other people today? Uh, I, I have a lot really, mm-hmm. but I one thing I'll say is that uh, one thing I, I forgot to say is that I'm also a Christian. Yep. I'm born again. Hey, so probably that's why I put on a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Someone <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. If I if I'm given a chance then I think we'll go on our knees. <laughs> <laughs> Altar call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think uh, it's it's always good to come together. That's right. It's good to really you know there's a, a saying i can't remember who said it is mm-hmm. when you speak to someone the, the own language you speak to the heart yeah uh, the other language just speak to them i don't know there's that saying i don't want to misquote the saying that i'm just paraphrasing mm-hmm. yeah it's always good to come together yeah come together fellowship together it it really helps it builds that unity the fa- family yeah and friendship yeah. you create a good network as well yeah yeah wow yeah and that's a great thing for us to do Absolutely. coming together mm-hmm. and staying together and when we do that i'm so sure the community is going to grow Absolutely. and blast out so every monday we'll be having our weekly shows you guys can be coming if you want to be part of it if you want to come and tell us you know we want to hear those stories we want to know how you made it here in australia because some people are coming and they're coming in so green some mm. people are coming they're being like they don't know they're being scammed people you know mm. even so much things that people are going through yeah. and this is a place where you can come and share like when you share it out i know i'm so sure that even the healing process takes place and mm. you can never let it be in you for a long time mm. yeah so thank you so much we thank the executive committee we thank you the president for having us and kicking us up and telling us let's keep up keeping up going mm. and for me i'm happy that we can do this and we can reach out to people mm. and i'm so sh- and, uh, and i'm so sure that chris is joining very soon <laughs> yeah and is some of the things he's spoken about the radio the tv stuff every those things I know so so soon we're going to see things from Chris. We're going to give you that mantle. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, bro, how can we support you to do that? Because that's why we have Chris here tonight. <laughs> Just to let him know that even him, he can still pick up his journalism and kick it off and start here in Australia. I'm already inspired, actually. Yep. Ah, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah. And us will try and see how we can make it happen. And if you're out there and you can make it happen, karibu sana. Yeah, so I'm thinking we'll say goodbye. Absolutely. Ama lazima ni kwambie usalimie watu. Unataka kutuma salamu kwa nani? Sisi tunatumanga salamu. Yeye ndio mnatumanga salamu. What do you guys do? Sisi uh, sisi tu. Our blessed night that's all. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And thank you so much for tuning in. This has been your weekly show. I'm Jim and this is Chris, our guest for tonight and keep it locked, keep it there, keep it casa and we love you all. Baraka. Bye-bye.